dolls. All right, so as you know by the title of this video, I am actually very, very, very excited about this because I have been wanting to get this for quite a few months now. This isn't something that was just kind of like out of the blue. This is something that I've really, really been thinking about and kicking around and I'm so happy to have finally done it. So I did get a new camera and if you guys are follow any other popular YouTubers on um, here, then you probably have already heard of the Canon PowerShot G7X. This one is very, very, very popular lately among video bloggers or vloggers or just YouTubers in general. I have been looking at this camera for months. Like I said, this, this didn't just happen overnight. This is something that I have been kind of investing in and putting a lot of time and effort and money into. In this video, I'll be doing kind of like a review walkthrough first impression, what I feel about it, and comparison footage to other cameras such as the iPhone 6 camera, my past vlogging camera, and things like that. So I'm not going to get too much into this. I'm going to film a separate vlog, which I will link in the description box below, of kind of the process of me getting this and why I wanted to get this. But mainly my old vlogging camera that I had was the Canon Vixia Mini X, which I will grab right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about. My old camera, which was this little guy right here, the Canon Vixia Mini X. Um, it's really neat. It has like the flip up viewfinder and you hold it like this. If you guys follow Trisha Paytas here on YouTube, you know that she used to have the older version of this camera. Hers was like the first version and mine is the second version. And she recently got the G7X. Now the funny thing about it is, is I was actually looking at this camera before she even purchased it. Yes, she definitely influenced my purchase on this little guy. But this one I was looking at for quite a while before she actually invested in it and I can see why so many YouTubers now have converted over to this camera because it is amazing. Oh my gosh, I have had this thing for probably three hours and it's already worth every single penny that I paid for it. I've tried out many, many features on it already, and I am just beyond blown away. So the main reason that I got this camera and am replacing my old vlogging camera is because this has a fisheye lens or a wide angle lens, which you will see in the video comparison footage. Um, and you can't really turn it off. There is an option to zoom in and that shuts it off. But when it's zoomed in, it's like 50 times zoomed in and it's just like way, way, way too much. So it's it's not like sensible, I guess you could say. One thing I do love about this camera though is that the built-in microphone is absolutely amazing. It's so crisp. It totally cancels out lots of white noise um, and things like that. But also with this camera right here, you can't necessarily have the manual functions when you are video recording. And... This doesn't really take still photographs. This does connect over Wi-Fi and you can stream through an app on your iPhone or your device somehow, but you can't necessarily transfer the footage over as easily. And that's one thing that I really, really wanted in a camera was a camera that I could take pictures or videos with and automatically transfer it to my phone. So that is where the G7X comes in because it has a little Wi-Fi button on the side and you just click that and you download one of the Canon transferring apps. There's tons of videos on YouTube about how to connect it to Wi-Fi and everything. So if you're interested in that, definitely look that up. Um, but there is an app that you download from the App Store and with literally a click of a button, you can transfer whatever photos, videos, whatever you want directly to your phone like that. And that is what I thought was so amazing because now, I can have so so much more HD photos that I'm putting out on like my blog or my Instagram. This isn't just going to be a vlogging camera. This is probably going to end up being an all-around camera. Now that I'm actually playing with it, looking at all the features, seeing what it can handle, seeing the quality, seeing the Wi-Fi accessibility, seeing everything in person, 
I am so glad I actually made this decision. So I have some pros and a couple cons with this camera. Uh, the pr pros being that obviously it has a dial right here and it can do photos, videos, there's an auto mode, all kinds of stuff. And within the video tab, you can further control your video manually. You can change your ISO, you can change the f-stop. So I think that is very, very, very handy with video bloggers. You have to have a camera that you can take full control of if you need to, given your situations that you're in, such as um, poor lighting, or if you're out and about, or it's like a night scene, or if you're in direct sunlight. Just having it on a standard auto mode is really helpful, but it's amazing to have that freedom to switch around different settings if you need to or if you want to. Okay, another pro, obviously, is that it hooks up to Wi-Fi and it's super quick. That is amazing. And another pro for this camera is that the battery charger doesn't have a cord attached to it, so you don't plug it into the wall and then have the long cord and then have the battery charger itself. It actually just plugs directly into the wall with no cord. It's, it's a lot more helpful, I find, that just having it plugged directly into the wall and not having this loose cord flying all over the place is definitely a pro because that is the one thing with my my vlog camera um, is that I had this cord that just was all over the place and I would always trip over it and knock it over and it's so helpful to just have the battery for this plugged directly into the wall. The con for this when it comes to the battery is you cannot plug it into the wall while the battery is in the camera. So in other words, you cannot charge it while you're filming. With the uh, Canon Vixia Mini X, it um, you could charge this while you were filming as long as you were close to an outlet. It came with the cords to plug it in and everything and I thought that that was really really convenient and really nice just in case I wanted to vlog and I was almost out of camera battery. I don't have a backup battery for either one of these cameras yet. I plan on getting a backup one for this 100% for when I go out and things like that because I plan on using this so much more. Um, another pro for this is that you can control like the iOS. I, iOS. <laughs> I always get him confused. The ISO with this little dial right here, it kind of turns, and I think that that's really helpful. That's very nice. Um, the wrist strap is pretty decent quality. I had heard mixed things, but I think I think they have since changed them since the initial reviews that people had about this. I did purchase this camera from the direct Canon online store. It's like CanonUSA.com or something like that because I wanted to be you know, verified that I was getting the actual camera and not like an imported one that could be like a knockoff or something like that. So I did pay a little bit more than I was hoping to for it, but I know I at least got a legit camera and I can register it online so um, if something does happen I can send it in to get re uh, fixed or I can get it replaced, which is very, very, very helpful. There's so many other pros with this, but I'll just go ahead and get into the cons. The zoom isn't too far. It's got a 4.2 zoom on it, and I find that it's not really a lot, which doesn't really bother me because the main videography that I'm going to be doing with this is filming my face or just like my initial surrounding. Another con with this camera is that this could be a pro or a con for some people. It is a little bit heavier. Um, it's smaller this way than I thought it was going to be, but it is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a little bit thinner and more like pocket-like and just kind of like thin and lightweight, but I have come to the conclusion that I appreciate that it is heavier and I have grown to actually love that over the short amount of time that I've had it because when I have something that is super lightweight and thin and kind of flimsy looking, it A, makes it feel a little bit cheaper because they didn't put a lot of product into it, if that makes sense. A lot of material wasn't put into it. Where I feel if something is a little bit heavier or a little bit thicker, it's almost as if it's got more value to it in a way. I know that sounds kind of weird, but that's just my personal opinion. And also, I like to be able to hold something in my hand that feels sturdy. I don't want to constantly be feeling like this is going to fly out of my hand, especially when I'm going to be holding it the opposite way a majority of the time. I'm not going to be holding it like a camera like this a lot. I'm going to be flipping the viewfinder up and 
putting it towards myself. So to have something that's a lot more heavy, it could be a pro or con. It just all depends on your personal preference. Okay, I'm not going to talk too much more about this camera. I'm not going to go through a walkthrough or anything like that. I just wanted to give you my initial reaction and how I feel about it. Basic pros and cons. It does have a little tripod hookup at the bottom just in case you were curious. Um, and it does have room for a memory card. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to insert my initial reaction to the quality of this so you guys can see what it looks like just taking it out of the box and on full auto. And then I will switch over to a three window comparison. Um, and one of the windows is going to be my iPhone 6 camera, which is this little guy right here. Um, and I will be doing the front and back camera, so it will be labeled which one's front, which one's back. Um, and then I will also be doing a little window of the Canon Vixia Mini X footage, which was my old vlogging camera, so you can see the idea of that. And then the last and final third window will be the star of the show, the Canon PowerShot G7X. This is my initial reaction to my new camera oh <laughs> my gosh you can see my awful roots yep those need done horribly i bought some hair dye the other day so um they're gonna be touched up soon um gosh you can like see every little minor detail you can see the zit i have going on right here you can see the paws on my face okay that's directly in front of the window so let me go over here where there isn't as much light. And this is just on auto setting, by the way. So let me turn off my light altogether. And this is still pretty good with it being like dark. Okay, and here's standing in front of the window with my bedroom light completely and totally off. My phone just went off. Let me see how the autofocus is. Yes, oh my gosh, you guys. This autofocus, how close can you get? It lets you get so close. This is probably two inches away from the lens. So it does awesome macro. As for the auto like tracking, um, it's pretty responsive. It could be a little bit quicker. So here is bedroom lighting. And I'm sorry, my bedroom kind of is a mess and all over the place, but um, let me go ahead and flip you guys around and do like test footage of me recording something else. So, let me flip you. So here I'll do some test footage of some other things. Just so you can see. It autofocuses pretty quickly for the most part. Um, Yee, I love this thing so much. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Okay, here's some phone cases. Actually, yeah, let me do that. Let me do like a, a close-up on a phone case or something. That is so good quality. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm very excited about this. I'm so excited. <laughs> let me flip this. And I can do more legit, like, outfit of the day pictures. Yeah. There is my new Canon G7X. of everything. I do hope this video was helpful for some of you. I do a further explanation of why I got this camera and everything on my vlog channel. I plan on vlogging more, so head on over to my vlog channel. It will be linked in the description box below if you want to see more videos about me and everything like that. I'm very excited about this camera. You guys don't even know. I'm so, so, so stoked. So yeah, with that being said, let me know your opinions about all the different cameras I showed you in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any of them, what your opinions are, how you feel about them, and all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be. Alright, bye!